Good morning, this is Charles with the Columbia Basin Herald and it is Friday, November 10th. And here's a little bit of what's going to be in our newspaper today. Representative Dan Newhouse, a Republican of Yakima, urged Congress on Thursday to find a legislative solution to the controversial DACA program. We need a solution to get 218 House votes, 60 votes in the Senate, or there is no deal, Newhouse said during a press conference. No bill is going to be perfect, but inaction is just not acceptable. DACA, Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, the DACA program itself is a 2012 executive order signed by former President Barack Obama that enabled certain individuals who entered the country as children and met a set of guidelines to request consideration of deferred action for two years, which is subject to renewal. To be DACA eligible, a person must have been brought into the country before the age of 16 and before June 2007, be enrolled in a, high, in a school, a high school graduate, or honorably discharged from the military, be under 31 as of June 15, 2012, and not have a serious criminal history. The mumps outbreak in Grant County this year cost the Grant County Health District over $100,000, according to Administrator Teresa Adkinson. That cost has strained the district's already precarious budget, she added during a meeting of the Grant County Board of Health on Wednesday. It's because the district does not have adequate staff for, to apply for grants to cover the cost of dealing with the outbreak and $40,000 in state funding associated with the solid waste complaint grant that are tied up with the failure of the state legislature in Olympia to pass a capital budget. Grant County was hit with 45 reported cases of mumps during the 2016-2017 epidemic, all but one confined to the Columbia Basin Job Corps site in Moses Lake as part of a major mumps epidemic that hit the country. Atkinson also said that a whooping cough outbreak, which has hit the county hard this year as well, has cost the health district $21,500 so far. And finally today, Ralphie and his quest for the best Christmas present ever will come to the Maskers stage this month. A Christmas Story, the musical, opens on November 17th at the theater, 322 East Main Avenue in Soap Lake. The, place will, the play will be presented every weekend between November 17th and December 17th, with performances on November 25th and 26th, which is Thanksgiving weekend. The curtain goes up at 7.30 p.m. on Friday and at 2 p.m. on Saturdays and Sunday. The musical, of course, is based on the 1983 film, which was relatively popular but not a big hit. It became a Christmas staple after it was shown on television. It's a funny show, said director Stacy Breesey. The plot follows the film, but it's a musical, so some plot elements have been subtracted, although the great, not the great battle of the lamp. And some others have been added. It's music that nobody knows, she said, which is good and bad. Breesey said she saw a Spokane production of the show and thought it would be fun and a good fit for maskers. Well, that's the news for today. For details on these and other stories, please check out our website, www.columbiabasinherald.com, or buy the paper. It's only a dollar. A blessed Veterans Day to you tomorrow, um, and we will see you on Monday.